Okay, so members, I'll come let us see how we answer this question. It's a very, very nice question, but please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, let us start with the reason for going through the question. Tom arrives early at school by 10 minutes when he rides from home at a steady speed of 9 kilometers. When he rides at a steady speed of 7.5, he arrives late by 6 minutes. Calculate how far the school is from its home and the speed that can enable him be punctual. Now, we are going to say, let the, the time for him to be punctual be T. Let T punctual time. Punctual time. And now, let B be the distance. Distance from home to school. Now, it means that now, if we go through the question, let me ask that. When he, he arrives in Ali at school by 10 minutes, when he rides to home at a distance, and then at the same speed of 9 kilometers. Now, it means that now, the distance, of course, the distance over the speed is giving us time. So, the distance between the school and the home over the speed is using. 9 is going to give us now the time it has to be punctual is going to be added by 10 minutes and by 10 minutes meaning at this time where it is punctual it is arriving at this time added so meaning it's going to be minus 10 minutes by which is arriving earlier but because these are the minutes we have to cover them in hours so we are going to divide by 60 and that is going to be hours why because even this speed was given to us in kilometers per hour. Let me repeat. The distance from school to home is D. The time it has to be factored is T. Now it means that if it gets this distance from between the school and the home, divided by the speed is using, it's going to reach the factor time is going to be added. It's going to be added 10 minutes. So and the time when it has to reach in time, minus 10 minutes. That's what we've done there. And from here, it's that like this one, our t is to overnight, is going to be t, then minus 1 over 6. So from here, if I try to make d the subject, I multiply it to by 9. So that 9d is going to be 9t minus 9 over 6. I call this equation 1. So then I will come to question 2. Now, the other thing is when he writes at the speed of 7.5, it means that now the distance over 7.5 is going to give us the time. So he arrives late. It means that on the punctual time, on the time it has to be punctual, he arrives late. It means that you add, he arrives late 6 minutes. So 6 C over the over 2 hours over 6 feet. So that's what we do. So at the time when he writes at this speed, it's going to be late. It means that at the punctual time when he has to reach in time, it's going to add on 6 minutes. That's what it means. So calculate the how far the school and so on. So yeah. So to make it the subject here, I'm not trying to by 7.5. So my speed is going to be 7.5 T. Then plus, okay, this one we're going to reduce it to t plus 1 over 10 and reduce it here. Then times this 7.5 over 10. So it's that now this is equation I equation 2. It's that equation, this one is equal to this. It's that now our equation 1 is equal to equation y because this is the and this is D. So this was minus 9 over okay, 9 over 6, which we can reduce to 3 over 2. Okay. Let me leave it there. It's equal to 7 when 5 T then plus over 10. So can you bring this beside 9 T now minus 7.5 T will be now. This will be 7.5 over 10, now plus 9 over 6. So in the software here, 
this is going to give us 1.5 and it is some back there. Uh -huh, so we have 1.5 t is equal to, let us simplify, so that this one is going to be 0 0.5, 0 0.75 plus. This one is giving us 2.25. And so now our t, when you divide there, you get 1.5. Now these are going to be hours. The time, because everything has been in hours, so these are hours. So the time going to be punctual is going to be cutted. The time to be punctual is going to be 1.5 hours. My name is for that. How far the distance from the school? So if we have this, we just substitute anywhere you want. Anywhere you substitute. So our D, now remember one, our D is going to be now from 2, from 2 here, 7.5 T, then plus 7.5 over 10, which is going to be now 7.5 times 1.5, then plus. So this one is 0 0.75 and so now our D is going to be 312 now they are in kilometers now remember to the one we need to get the speed that can enable him to be punched the speed that can enable him to be punched of course, this is the distance between the home and then this is the time for it to be punctured. It means that the speed, the speed is going to be D over time, which will be our D is 12 over the time, which is 1.5. And our speed now is going to be 8 kilometers per lap. For it to be punctured, that's the speed that man has this. Now we come to number two here. A train takes 15 minutes less. You said there are minutes we have to cover them for hours. For a journey of 15, 156 kilometers, if its speed is increased by 4 kilometers per hour from its normal speed, find its normal speed. So we say the solution here we are going to say let V be the normal and normal. Speed. Now, we have two instances. We have the time, we are going to ask that the difference between the two times is going to be 15 kilometers. It means that if my first time one is going to be, when is it in the normal velocity? Divide by this, so 1, 5, 6 over D. So it's going to be the first time. Then the second time, P2, is going to be when is covering the, the train is covering the same distance, but now we are increasing the velocity by 4. We increase the velocity by 4. It means that from this B, we are going to add on 4 kilometers per second. They are telling us that if it's increased to 4 kilometers per second, the difference, I mean, is going to take less. It means that now, our T1 minus T2 is going to be having a difference of 15 minutes. And because these are now ones, we convert them to 16 minutes, which is that is going to be, this is going to be our order. So now our T1 minus T2 is equal to, anyway, you can multiply it through by 4. This is our order, I multiply it through by 4. Allow me to multiply it through by this 4 here. So now I'm going to be having now 41 and that's 42 equal to 1. Now I'm going to substitute here. This is going to be 4 times now T1. Then minus 4 times roll over D plus 4 is equal to 1. Of course, that this one is going to be bigger than this. That's why the difference has to be a quarter. This one is having a smaller denominator than this, so this one is bigger. So when you simplify there, 
3 I get 6, 2, 4, over B, then minus 6, 2, 4, over B, plus 4, equaling 1. So, we multiply it through by this. So, it was multiplied. We multiply it at our LCM from here. Our LCM is going to be B into B plus 4. So, when I multiply it here, multiply it by LCM. Here, I'm going to be adding now 6, 2, 4, then B plus 4, then minus 6, 2, 4, B, B equal to B into B plus 4. Can you make that quadratic equation? It's going to be now, when you multiply here, we have 6, 2, 4, B, then plus, this time is 4. We have 2, 4, 9, 6, then minus 6, 2, 4, B, equal to B squared plus 4, B. Okay, so now it's that. This one is resting with this. When I take this inside, that R B squared plus 4B minus now 2, 4, 9, 6 equal to 0. And you see this, you can factor it with 2, 4, 8, then B plus 5, 2 equal to 0. It's that R B is 48. Now, Kilometers are allowed, or B is negative 52 kilometers per hour. But that our velocity can't be negative, so this one is ruled out. Okay. So that's it, members. Unless you have a question, this is going to be our best. I wish you the best.